Come on, lift those hands up to the Lord. We're saying, Lord, set my heart on fire for you. Lord, set my life in order for you. No more dryness, no more lukewarmness. From my going out to my coming in, my life will never be the same. I'm a changed man, I'm a changed woman. I am another person. I'm hidden in Christ. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. For you. Oh Lord, set my life in order for you. For you. So we go. Oh Lord, say, set my heart on fire for you. I want to burn for you. Lord, I want to blaze for you. Set my life in order. Nobody else. I want to know your heart. I want to know your ways. I want to know your heart. I want to know your ways. the same Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome, welcome all, welcome in as we are tuning in live. Welcome to another edition of Bite Size. This is Pastor Fredlin Size, part of the My Church family. We welcome you. Come on in, come on in. Welcome, welcome. We just want to thank everybody for joining us. Welcome in, welcome in. And we just want to open up in prayer quickly. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. And we just thank you for your presence this evening. And we thank you that this day is a day unto the Lord. Lord, we thank you for refreshing us, strengthening us, reviving us. And I just thank you that, Lord, that as we share this bite-sized word today, let it have a mega impact on everyone listening under the sound of my voice. I pray that you would anoint my lips, my heart, my mouth, my words, Lord. Let me speak only what you desire. And I just thank you that this word will strengthen, refresh, and encourage, edify, and exhort the believers who are listening in and tuning in in Jesus' name. And I just thank you, Lord, that this word will bring new life, new strength, new zeal, and a new love and passion for the things of God. Well, in continuation with our theme, again, this is Pastor Fred Lensias from My Church Family. And I just want to continue with our theme of 
finishing strong. You know, as we are in November, it's not long till the end of the year. And I always believe, you know, one thing I always do is I try and finish the year strong because it sets up a platform for me to launch out into the new year with whatever God is asking me to do, whether it be to in relation to ministry, family, my job, my career. Is there something the Lord is saying that this year he wants me to focus on? And the key text scripture I want to use for today is Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. And I just want to encourage us, you know, whether you are feeling down right now, whether you're feeling tired, lethargic, whether you're feeling that, you know, Lord, I just can't go on, whatever situation it is you're facing. I want to encourage you that, you know, in this verse, it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, I want to encourage you that you don't know who is going to be a witness to your race into how you are running your race. We have a cloud of witnesses. Heaven is backing us. Heaven is cheering us on. The Lord is rejoicing and singing over us. And not only that, there, you know, we don't know who's watching us on this earth as well. It could be your child. It could be a friend. It could be your neighbor. It could be that work colleague that has been admirably secretly watching you and cheering you on and being encouraged by how you are walking out your race of faith, how you are living out your life. That is why I just want to encourage you. As the word says, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin so that so easily entangles. Because you see, the enemy's t tactic is to hinder you, to bring distractions, to bring blockages, to bring things that are going to distract you from focusing on what has the Lord called you to do. What is it that you need to do in this minute, in this hour, that is going to set you up and strengthen you and edify you for your breakthrough, for your blessing, for what God is calling you to finish and complete. And that is why we also got to be careful of the sin that ensnares so easily. These are the famous tricks of Satan to either hinder us or to get us into sin, to temptation, to sin, so that we can become entangled and ensnared and diverted and distracted of what we are supposed to be doing. So stay focused and sharp. Stay focused and alert and sharp. Be wise. Be sensitive. Focus on what is the Lord saying to you? What is God saying to do? How is God saying to do it? Focus and stay away from the things that are going to be hindrances. Focus on Jesus. Set your eyes on Jesus. Help comes from the Lord. It says those who call upon the name of the Lord. He shall strengthen them. He will help you. Don't be entangled in the sin. Don't be caught up in the worldly things. Focus on the Lord. Focus on what God is saying to do. And then the verse also says, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Perseverance comes from the daily things we do with consistency. For example, stay focused. Don't be hindered from your prayer life, from your walk with God, spending time worshiping the Lord, spending time in meditating on the word of God, because we know it is both spirit and life. If you look at long distance runners, they train consistently every day. They also train at high altitudes, so that their lungs become accustomed to that thin air in their body. So that when they run races, they can endure more. We need to get into the things of the spirit with the Lord. Be led by the spirit. Allow God to take us higher. So that our endurance and stamina is strengthened and built up by the Holy Spirit. Also, these runners ensure that their diets, they eat a, a, a carbohydrate rich diet because of the energy slowly re releasing carbs. The word needs to be our staple diet if we are going to run this race successfully. If we're going to have the stamina and the endurance, we've got to focus on the things that get us higher. Our worship, our praise, our prayer life, get us into the, the presence that bring us higher into the things of the God and to be led by the Holy Spirit. And we also got to focus and eat our 
die, it's got to be the word to give us the stamina, stamina, the strength, the endurance to run our race, to persevere. So that in preparation, as we run and come to run our race, we are equipped with everything that allows us to run and with perseverance so that we can finish this race that has been marked out with us. I want to encourage you tonight, get into the presence of God. Go on your knees and just say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let the joy of the Lord become your strength in this race. Let the word be your diet to meditate on, to chew on, to give you the strength, the spiritual strength and stamina. Allow your worship to take you higher so that the Holy Spirit can refresh in you, can strengthen you, can edify you, so that you have the perseverance and the strength to run your race and finish strong, not just for this year, but that you are equipped to run and finish strong into next year, into everything that God is calling you to do, beloved. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Because you want to stand one day and we want to say, like it says in 2 Timothy 4 and 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. In all things, remember, God is faithful. Call upon the name of the Lord. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. Remember, refreshing comes from our worship, from spending time in his presence. Come on, let us go higher. Let's go higher in our prayer life. Let's go higher. Don't try and pray one hour or two hours or three hours every day. Let's make a challenge. Wake up in the morning and take even five minutes to thank God, worship God, just praise God, thank him to start your day. Incline your ear and allow him to set the course for your day to lead you. When you get that tea break, before you have that first cup of tea at work or whatever you're doing, take two minutes just to say, God, I thank you. I praise you. I worship you. Bless my family. Bless the ministry. Bless the church. Bless my leadership. Bless my kids. Whatever they're doing right now, my friends, my loved ones. At lunchtime, do the same. Let's become consistent in how we walk out our day. Let's become consistent in how we're running our race daily. Let's focus on the small things, our prayer life, our worship, meditating on the word, taking a scripture verse and just saying today, Lord, in these two minutes of time, I'm going to meditate on this verse. Let's become consistent in running our race consistently in the small things daily so that we can reach the end goal and the end prize and finish our race strong, beloved. This is Pastor Fred and Sai is part of the My Church family. And I pray and hope you were blessed and encouraged by this word. No matter what it is, give thanks unto the Lord. Let's just pray. Father, I thank you for everyone who was tuned into this bite-sized message. Lord, I pray that you would help them become consistent and faithful in the small things daily in their prayer life, their studying of the word, giving thanks, worship, praise. We honor you and we thank you that you would refresh them by the power of the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit and that you would bless them and encourage them to finish and run their race strong and to come to the end and say, I have kept the faith. God bless you. God keep you. Jesus and God loves you. May the Holy Spirit refresh and encourage you. Be blessed and remember, call on the name of the Lord. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Let's go higher in our prayer, our praise and our worship. Hallelujah. Love you. God bless you. Have a blessed evening. If that word of encouragement just blessed you as much as what it did me, and you have not yet connected with us, why don't you do so now at My Church London? That's on Facebook, YouTube or Instagram at My Church London. Or if you're looking for something more personal, why not join one of our eConnect groups every Thursday evening at 7.30pm UK time. If this is something you would like to get involved with, just DM us with your contact details and we'll come back to you with all the relevant details of how you can plug in.